Louisiana Beer Reviews, LA31 Bucani. Bayou Tesh Brewing's LA31 Bucani Smoked Wheat Ale was introduced. I don't know when they don't say on their website. I do know that it's a wheat ale and it's smoked with cherry wood, so that makes it a rock beer. The company is headquartered in Louisiana, but all their brews, their beers are contract brewed by Lazy Magnolia in Kiln, Mississippi. Uh, they talk on their website about uh, how people use wild cherry trees to make cherry bounce. My grandpa used to make cherry bounce. I don't know where you can buy cherry bounce except you can get Kiafa from Finland. And Kiafa is, is very similar. If it isn't, it may be uh, technically a cherry bounce. The Kiafa. Um, Bucani means cured in French. 4.5% alcohol. Gets an okay score on Beer Advocate. Only 54 ratings. 40 out of 100 rate beer. 12 out of 100 for the style. 40 ratings and um, an excellent score in the beer release. We're not looking at a wide distribution and we're not looking at a lot of ratings. I've never had it before. I bought this at Martin Wine Cellar in Metairie, Louisiana. And this will be the first video review for this beer in the world. Let's check it out. I don't really like the smoked beers because they're too smoky. <laughs> like this those oxygen. Carla Roche beers. I mean, they were good and all if you like to drink smoked pork. That's what they tasted like. A lot of smoke here. Now, the smoked meat is very popular down here in Louisiana. Um, like in my town, Laplace, it's very famous for Andouille smoked sausage. Andouille sausage, the Andouille capital of the world, they say. <clears throat> if you ever want to try Andouille, go to this grocery store. You can see Progresso. And, and maybe also Campbell's, they'll have the uh, chicken and sausage gumbo, and if you'll notice, it's Andouille sausage in the can. Okay, uh, a thick cream-colored head, and the appearance is copper and very bubbly and clear. Let's go with the aroma. Well, it's smoky. <laughs> it smells like smoked wood, I guess cherry wood. Um, it may be some wheat, uh, but it, it there's really just that overriding smoky wood aroma, which is what you get with that oxygen Carla Roche beers uh, from um, Germany. So if you like to smell wood burning, you'd like this. Let's go with the flavor. It's not as smoky as those Schling Carlos, but it's close. I mean, those are just so overwhelmingly smoky. But this is, is pretty heavily smoked. Pretty heavily smoked. Okay, you get the smoked, the smoked uh, wood. You're getting a sweetness, a sweet bread. Mm. A little sourness maybe. Um, it's hard to describe, but it's like beer that's smoked. I mean, it's no other way to describe it. I mean, it's, it's the sort of thing like you're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. I'm more on the not liking it. <clears throat> but that's not to say the beer isn't good. It's just not what I would prefer. But it is interesting and it's different and it's something to try. Uh, I think it was a 139 for the bottle. And you can buy a six pack for about eight ninety nine. Sometimes maybe less. The mouthfeel, it doesn't really look like a wheat beer. There's no sediment. 
it looks like an amber lager. Um, the mouthfeel is like a lager. It's watery in a um, little bit prickly with the carbonation, but it's light and watery, and the finish is semi-dry. It's refreshing, and it's easy going. It's not hard to drink. You can guzzle it down. It's just got that odd smoked aspect. So 4.5% alcohol, alcohol, that's pretty much like your Shiner Bach, which is 4.5. So, and it's sort of like that. It's like Shiner Bach with smoke. <laughs> um, so, buy it and try it. You just might like it. Um, how would I rate this? I want to be fair with it. I think it would go well with hoghead cheese, really spicy hoghead cheese, hot. It is sweet and caramelish also. The bitterness is so low, but it's there, but it's low. Um, I'm going to give it an A-. minus. I think it is excellent to an extent. If I if I liked the raw beers more, I'd probably rate it higher. But anyway, it's still, you know, it's an A-. minus. I gave the Oxman Curl raw beers very higher scores also, so... Les de les bon temps relais. This is a good and interesting beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans!